So this is a model that I'm building in SketchUp of a client's deck project. They, uh, this is a permitted project that requires a blueprint. Um, requirements aren't terribly strict, but they need to be exact. So I'm taking this model and I'm producing a print. So there I move the camera position into the top under the standard views. One good thing you can do is change the uh, textures of different components. Like for instance, this is a concrete pad that's laid under the deck. Um, the first story, this is like a second story deck. So it helps show the differences in materials. So I actually put the decking in this drawing, but I've hidden it from this view and it's already dimensioned. So these are my dimensions as I leave them out um, with a few tweaks. This is different from the standard. This is how you get this effect. Um, you actually select all, um, select all of the uh, dimensions and then you can change the formatting. This is in your model info. So here I made the font um, normal, and I wanted it to be in boldface. So this is it again in boldface. So you can also change the look of your um, dimensioning pointers. I prefer the slashes myself, but I'm using a lot of very intricate dimensions. So I'm going to export 2D graphic. I'll save that to my desktop. Now I'm going to go to my, um, this is the rest of the view, all the dimensions in the model. You can see the concrete pad below in the first story. I've just hidden all the dimensions. Now you're just seeing beams on a rim joist. So I'm going to open my 2D graphic in a program called GIMP. GNU image um, manipulation program. It's a free Photoshop alternative for those of you who haven't heard of it yet. Um, these modifications have already been made, so I'll be showing you in my undo history um, some of the things that I did to make this look more like a blueprint. So you can select by color in GIMP. So I selected by color with a low threshold and just deleted that background color. And you can change the brightness and contrast to um, help your black and white balance really pop. You select none, and then you can come down to the bottom, start a text box, and that can be your title block, saying anything you needed to say. So anyhow, that's how I make a quick blueprint from a SketchUp model.